Have you ever opened a new piece of furniture, a bike repair kit, or a set of tools, and wondered why that tiny L-shaped metal tool is called an Allen wrench? It's one of those everyday objects we use constantly, tightening screws, assembling shelves, adjusting appliances, yet hardly anyone stops to ask where the name actually comes from. Today we're digging deep into the surprising history behind the Allen wrench, how it got its famous name, and why this seemingly simple tool became a global standard in engineering and manufacturing. And trust me, this story is way more interesting than you'd expect from a small metal stick with six sides. Let's explore, right here, on History of Simple Things. To understand the name, we need to go back to the early 1900s when industrialization was booming in the United States. Machines, bicycles, automobiles, and factory equipment were becoming more complex, and manufacturers were searching for safer and more reliable ways to fasten parts together. At the time, screws with slotted heads, those traditional straight-line screw heads, were everywhere but they had serious problems. The slot was prone to slipping, stripping, and causing injuries. Workers hated them. Manufacturers found them unreliable. Engineers were frustrated because they couldn't handle higher torque without damage. Something needed to change. And that's where our story begins with a company called Allen Manufacturing Company, based in Hartford, Connecticut. In 1910, William G. Allen, an engineer at the Allen Manufacturing Company, filed a patent for a new kind of screw head and the tool to fit it. Instead of using a flat slot on the screw head, he designed a recessed hexagonal socket. This design was revolutionary. Because the hexagon shape had six points of contact, much more than the single slot of a flat head, it allowed for stronger grip, better torque, and less slipping. The screw was safer, more durable, and much easier to use, especially in industrial machines where high pressure and high precision were essential. The tool used to turn this hexagonal socket screw became known as the Allen Safety Screw Wrench, which people later shortened to simply Allen Wrench. What's interesting is that Allen wasn't the only inventor working on hexagonal socket screws at the time, but his company was the first to successfully commercialize the idea in the United States. Other companies in Europe were experimenting with similar concepts, but Allen Manufacturing made it accessible, mass-produced, and standardized. And once a new technology becomes widespread through a specific company, people tend to name it after the brand. That's exactly how we end up with brand-based everyday terms like Band-Aid, Kleenex, Velcro, and yes, Allen Wrench. Technically, the more universal and correct name for the tool is the hex key because it's a key-shaped tool for hexagonal screws. But the popularity of Allen safety screws in early industrial America meant the name Allen Wrench stuck especially in the U.S. The shape of an Allen wrench is another reason why it became so iconic and widely used. The L-shaped design isn't just random, it's incredibly practical. The short end of the L-shape allows you to exert high torque when you really need to tighten something securely, while the long end gives you reach and leverage in tight corners. Plus, hex keys are compact, cheap to manufacture, and extremely durable. They don't require fancy materials or complex machining. That combination of efficiency and minimalism helped the Allen wrench spread across industries, from bicycles and cars to appliances, furniture, robotics, and even aerospace engineering. Anywhere that needs strong, reliable fastening you'll find an Allen wrench nearby. 
One of the biggest pushes for Allen wrenches came later in the 20th century when flat pack furniture became huge. Companies like IKEA use hex screws because they are easy for inexperienced customers to assemble at home with a simple included tool. You don't need to own an expensive toolbox. You don't need advanced mechanical skills. All you need is that little L-shaped wrench in the plastic bag alongside the furniture panels. This made the Allen wrench not just a tool for engineers, but something that became part of everyday life for millions of people worldwide. Its simplicity is exactly what made it so universal. Over time, the Allen wrench also became standardized through international engineering organizations. Metric and imperial sizes became uniform, which meant manufacturers everywhere could rely on consistent measurements. This standardization pushed the tool even further across industries and countries. Whether you buy a bike in Japan, assemble a chair in the Philippines, or repair a gadget in Germany, the Allen wrench you use today is practically identical in measurement and shape to the ones first designed in the early 1900s. That's a level of global uniformity that only a handful of tools have achieved. Yet despite all these global standards and technical names like Hex Key, the nickname Allen Wrench persists, especially in North America. It's a reminder of the tool's origins and the company that first made it popular. In the world of engineering, this kind of brand becomes generic history happens surprisingly often. But the Allen Wrench is one of the clearest examples. A simple tool originally created for improved worker safety and better machine reliability, slowly evolved into a household essential with a branded name that stuck for over a century. So the next time you tighten a loose chair leg, build a new desk, or adjust your bike brakes, remember that the little tool you're holding carries more than just six sides. It carries a century of innovation, a push for safer workplaces, and a historical legacy from a small company in Hartford, Connecticut. And that's why it's called an Allen wrench, named not just for the man behind the idea, but for the company that helped shape modern manufacturing one hex screw at a time. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our other bingeable channels. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.